Welcome to another test from the Practice Test Geeks. In this video we are going to test Surf Safe Manager quiz. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests. Question 1. Which process requires a variance from the regulatory authority? A. Sprouting seeds or beans. B. Serving wild game. C. Serving imported cheese. D. Smoking food to enhance flavor. Question 2. What temperature must stuffed lobster be cooked to? A. 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius, for 15 seconds. B. 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius, for 4 minutes. C. 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius, for 4 minutes. D. 155 degrees Fahrenheit, 68 degrees Celsius, for 15 seconds. Question 3. What information must be included on the label of food packaged on site for retail sale? A. List of ingredients. B. Serving size. C. Storage guidelines. D. Pack date. Question 4. What temperatures do infrared thermometers measure? A. Air. B. Oven. C. Surface. D. Internal food. Question 5. What scenario can lead to pest infestation? A. Rotating products using the FIFO method. B. Storing recyclables in paper bags. C. Cleaning up spills around garbage containers. D. Installing air curtains above doors. Question 6. What should be done with preset, unwrapped utensils that appear to be unused after guests have left the table? A. Wipe off the utensils and reuse. B. Leave the utensils for the next guest. C. Wrap the utensils with a clean napkin. D. Clean and sanitize the utensils. Question 7. How should chemicals be stored? A. In food storage areas. B. Away from prep areas. C. Above food. D. With kitchenware. Question 8. What rule for serving bread should food handlers practice? A. Reheat uneaten bread before serving to other customers. B. Clean and sanitize bread baskets between each customer. C. Recycle unused, uncovered butter for use in other food items. D. Do not reserve uneaten bread. Question 9. Bulk unpackaged food in self-service areas must be labeled when A. The food is prepared at another unit of the same chain. B. The food is prepared on the premises. C. The food supports pathogen growth. D. The manufacturer claims the food is healthy. Question 10. What must an operation do before packaging fresh juice on site for later sale? A. Contact OSHA. B. Freeze the juice. C. Obtain a variance. D. Hold produce at 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, or lower. Question 11. What should be done with a package of flour that is received with signs of dampness on the bag? A. Accept the flour and place in dry storage. B. 
Reject the flour and return it to the supplier. C. Store the bag in a cooler at 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius, or lower. D. Dry the bag thoroughly before use. Question 12. What is the minimum internal cooking temperature for chicken breast? A. 155 degrees Fahrenheit, 68 degrees Celsius, for 15 seconds. B. 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius, for 15 seconds. C. 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius, for 4 minutes. D. 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius, for 4 minutes. Question 13. Which organization includes inspecting food as one of its primary responsibilities? A. Centers for Disease Control. B. Occupational Safety and Health Administration. C. U.S. Public Health Service. D. U.S. Department of Agriculture. Question 14. A food handler has just finished storing a dry food delivery. Which step was done correctly? A. Stored food in an empty chemical container. B. Stored food away from the wall. C. Stored food underneath a stairwell. D. Stored food four inches off the floor. Question 15. Where should a food handler wash his or her hands after prepping food? A. Food prep sink. B. Designated sink for hand washing. C. Three compartment sink. D. Utility sink. Question 16. Which responsibility is included in the Food and Drug Administration's role? A. Regulating food transported across state lines. B. Approving HACCP plan. C. Issuing licenses and permits. D. Inspecting meat, poultry, and eggs. Question 17. What is the first step in developing a HCF plan? A. Establish monitoring procedures. B. Determine critical control points. C. Identify corrective actions. D. Conduct a hazard analysis. Question 18. What temperature should the water be for manual dishwashing? A. Must be at least 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 43 degrees Celsius. B. Must be at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. C. Must be at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius. D. Must be at least 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius. Question 19. A local nursing home has a yearly barbecue for its residents. Which food item should not be served? A. Deviled eggs. B. Raw carrots. C. Rare hamburgers. D. Potato salad. Question 20. What symptom requires a food handler to be excluded from the operation? A. Sore throat. B. Coughing. C. Jaundice. D. Stomach cramps. Question 21. The temperature of duck breast is checked during cooking. According to the operations policy, the duck breast must be cooked for 16 minutes to allow the internal temperature to reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius. 
What HACCP principle is addressed by cooking the duck breast to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius? A. Critical limit. B. Verification. C. Hazard analysis. D. Monitoring. Question 22. Parasites are commonly associated with what food? A. Whole wheat. B. Wild game. C. Mushrooms. D. Dairy products. Question 23. What practice should be used to prevent seafood toxins from causing a foodborne illness? A. Cooking food to correct internal temperatures. B. Hand washing throughout the day. C. Microwaving fish to be served raw for 15 seconds. D. Purchasing food from approved, reputable suppliers. Question 24. What is a cross connection? A. Approved public water main. B. Backflow of clean water into dirty water. C. Physical link between safe water and dirty water. D. Water transport vehicle. Question 25. What information must be posted on a dishwasher? A. Correct settings. B. Manufacturer phone number. C. Recommended sanitizing amounts. D. Schedule for cleaning. Question 26. What rule for serving condiments should be practiced? A. Serve bottle condiments that remain open between uses. B. Combine bowls of leftover condiments with fresh ones. C. Serve condiments in antimicrobial containers. D. Serve condiments in original containers. Question 27. A food handler has cooled a container of chili to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, in one hour. How much time is left to cool the chili to 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius? A. 4 hours. B. 3 hours. C. 5 hours. D. 2 hours. Question 28. What temperature must cooked vegetables reach to be safely hot held for service? A. 155 degrees Fahrenheit, 68 degrees Celsius. B. 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius. C. 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius. D. 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius. Question 29. What should a food handler do to make gloves easier to put on? A. Select the correct size gloves. B. Sprinkle flour in the gloves. C. Blow into gloves. D. Roll the gloves up. Question 30. What type of eggs must be used when preparing raw or undercooked dishes for high-risk populations? A. Pasteurized. B. Shelled. C. Pooled. D. Hard-boiled. Question 31. What temperature must a high-temperature dishwasher's final sanitizing rinse be? A. At least 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 82 degrees Celsius. B. At least 170 degrees Fahrenheit, 76 degrees Celsius. C. At least 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius. D. 
at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 degrees Celsius. Question 32. When must a food handler change gloves? A. After one hour of constant use. B. At the end of the shift. C. Every six hours. D. As soon as they become dirty or torn. Question 33. What is the first step of cleaning and sanitizing stationary equipment? A. Spray the surface with cleanser. B. Wash the equipment surface using hot water. C. Take off removable parts. D. Unplug the unit. Question 34. Which item is a potential physical contaminant? A. Sweat. B. Jewelry. C. Sanitizer. D. Hand sanitizer. Question 35. Single-use gloves are not required when A. Cleaning stationary equipment. B. The food handler has a latex sensitivity. C. Handling cooked food. D. Washing produce. Question 36. What organization requires a safety data sheet SDS to be included with hazardous chemicals? A. Environmental Protection Agency. B. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. C. Occupational Safety and Health Administration. D. National Restaurant Association. Question 37. What is the minimum internal cooking temperature for a veal chop? A. 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius. B. 155 degrees Fahrenheit, 68 degrees Celsius. C. 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius. D. 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius. Question 38. Why should food temperatures be taken in two different locations? A. It is required by the manufacturer. B. To ensure the thermometer is calibrated correctly. C. To ensure the thermometer is accurate to plus or minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit or plus or minus 1 degree centigrade. D. Temperature may vary in the food. Question 39. When transporting food off-site, how should information such as the use by date and time be communicated to the off-site staff? A. Verbal instructions. B. Labels on food. C. Text or email message. D. Telephone. Question 40. Which item should be rejected? A. Live oysters at 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius. B. Shell eggs at an air temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees Celsius. C. Bottled milk at 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius. C. Bags of organic cookies in torn packaging. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests.